Hello, welcome to our second part of our polyurethane application. We've got a couple of sections here where we've started finishing. As you can see on the right, we've got a little bit poorer finish. Um, this is just due to the surface not being prepared as well. Um, this shows you the difference that that tack cloth or the mineral spirit rub down really makes. You can see just the amount of little bubbles that are there. It doesn't seem like we have nearly the amount of those bubbles on this second sheet on the left. So while you're applying polyurethane, the trick is to be somewhat quick and you want to get a nice even coverage. Um, having a low angle light to where you can pan over the top of the surface and see any pools or drips or deposits. Um, and you'll want to take those out with a light foam brush in kind of part of a second step. So we're applying with lamb's wool here. We want to get off any of the excess and then start in a general motion moving with the grain of the wood. You want to allow the polyurethane to kind of flow off of the brush naturally. You don't want to rush it too quickly, otherwise you'll leave streaks, but you don't want to move too slowly that you leave pools either. And I like to do a two-step process here because these foam brushes don't um, carry a whole lot on them. So you'll, you'll get the poly on the surface with the lamb's wool, and then you'll follow it up with a brush and that'll help knock down any of those remaining bubbles in there, even things out and give you that nice clean finish. Now, if you do start to develop bubbles, the worst thing you can do is continue to work it. So just um, try and smooth out any of the deep spots that you have and move on. Because as the more you disturb that, the more bubbles you'll actually work into it. You'll get a much better finish just leaving it alone. So hopefully with this, you'll wait till it cures and hardens and you'll apply a light rub down with a 220 to 300 grit sandpaper. Apply your second coat and you'll have beautiful finished hardwood to display in your home. 